It's Linda McPhee's workshop. Here's Linda. You hear that music? You know it's time for Linda, and we're going to have some fun today. I do love to hear from my viewers, and I'm so glad when you email me. And often my viewers say, you know, Linda, you just do clothes. You don't do anything home deck. And of course we do things home deck. So that's really what we're going to do today is a lot of fun things like that. And joining me to do that is my buddy Joan, because we sew together all the time. We do an awful lot together, Linda. I love your jacket. Well, home deck can be made into clothes, which of course, fabric is fabric. So, And there's a great crossover. You've got one on too, I, I see. I do, but I must admit, I purchased this one and it was my inspiration to have one on my cutting board at home. Certainly. Do we look like a couple of Chesterfield <laughs> coaches? Yeah. We're not potatoes, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, that's, that's good. Uh, kind we've of got, messy here today, you know. Well, Joan, you know, I get suspicious of the people that have these neat and tidy sewing rooms. I kind of suspect that, I know yours is not. So no. this is sort of what this is. This is my workshop. Right. This is what we do. So, so you understand. Move one to do two. and Okay. All right. What I thought we should do is use, well, actually, we can talk about this because this, this jacket okay. is just cutting up whatever jacket you want and cutting it up into pieces. So you can then, exactly, exactly like this. Oh. So there's the back. And we just cut the pattern down the center, cut it in a couple of pieces, cut each piece out of whatever fabric you want. Right. When you're looking at home deck fabric, don't get the real stiff stuff. I mean, right. some of this is sort of And too look stiff. at both sides. Yes. Because sometimes... Because you could flip some and use yes. it both ways. Yeah. What we decided on this is that we didn't want to have to match up everything, so we said, well, let's put a piece of braid there. So that's right on top. Yes. Oh, that right. works out well. And the sleeve? Sleeve, same thing. We said, well, let's do one solid, because I think the problem you might end up is you get a little too much of a zooey right. thing going. Kind of look at your colors and see that they all coordinate. But mm -hmm. it is so amazing that the colors in Home Deck are the colors in fashion right now and the whole thing does work together. Right. So and we sometimes a little ahead of the clothing fashion, yes, I think. Yes, I think so too. So, so that's basically the jacket. So you can take whatever jacket you want and play with that. But let's get into a runner because right. I think the runner is quite... This, this braid just inspired me so much. I thought, oh, that is just too amazing. Look at the, the matching in the colors. Yes. So this, again, is the cache of satin. It's the flannel-backed satin that we oh. use for lining all the time. So we take whatever length we want to make this. We then sew it across the end like this. I'm going to have to trim out that corner. And I could have hemmed this first, but we could hem it right. afterwards. It doesn't really matter. And we'll pull this through. And now we have a nice shape and a nice point point on this one. So then I really just have to take this braid. And I decided that we would have two rows of this braid because what's better than one row is two rows. Right. So mark your center so that you know where the center is. And then you just have to turn this back at an angle to match that angle. Right. Top stitch all the way down then around here. Put one on the other side. And we end up with this. So Beautiful. it does give you a very elegant look. So that just gets you beginning because you think, well, if I can do that, we could do a cushion to match. So here is the cushion to match. So here we have the piece of paper. And basically what we decided on this cushion is let's us draw out a cushion and take whatever size your cushion form is. And you don't actually have to make it any bigger because you want it to be well stuffed. Right. So make it exactly the size of your cushion. So it's about an 18 inch. I drew the lines across and across because then I wanted to say, where, how are we going to get this miter? Right. So you can actually just follow your lines. Okay. So then you make a pattern for your miter. So here is your braid. And you can then make a pattern for this side that's going to go on there. Right. And that's exactly the same thing. So that will become your miter. You sew that on your square and... Sew it up. That's I mean, a cushion quick. is pretty basic. Very quick. You could have some fun stuff like this. I mean, you could just, if you don't want a miter, just do some chops. Appli applique, really. Drop, and we just we made it double. It? Put some Velcro in there, like a little overlap. Beautiful. So, I mean, this is not rocket science. This is pretty simple. Then there's this, which I thought was kind of a nice home deck oh, thing. Oh, and of so throw. cuddly. Yeah. The only tricky part, this is one piece of fabric. It's all it's Berber on this side. Uh, suede on this side, right. so it, you just bring it around. But of course, you don't want to be clunky on the corners. No. So I've got a quick and easy way to show you how to do that. If this was your piece of fabric, you're going to fold in your border. So okay. one inches or two inches or whatever. You're going to fold in your border this way, like that. Right. And then when you get those two folds, you'll see that you've got those two. You'll fold those back on themselves. And now that is your diagonal, which is, yes. So then this flips in like that. So, yeah. You end up with that. We end up with that. And that's all we did was 
Well, that would be that very quick. That and is then stitch quick. around. Stitch around that. But then we said, you know, this is kind of neat because you could put another piece of fabric. Yes. If this was just one-sided and this didn't, this is kind of ugly or whatever, mm -hmm. you could then, and then we made our piece of chenille. So this is the chenille that we've done other days on the show, and we've created this by layering and stitching and cutting. But then you put it on a piece of fleece, which is this, bring the fleece up and around, right. Mighty your corner, and then you've got a really interesting throw. And you're quite coordinated. Oh, yes, here I am. Well, that's the whole joy. You can sit on your couch and match, and your cushions can match. You, nobody you can will get know you're there. completely carried away. And, oh, and you know, we do get carried we away. We do get carried away. Yes, we, we sure, do. certainly do. So, but don't go away. Thanks, Joan, for joining me, because I know that you're going to do some more of these I'm things. I'm going home to work. And we'll have some more good visits. And next we've got coming up is another friend of mine. I know you'll like her. You know that I'm Linda McPhee, and my guest is... Linda McGeehee. Isn't that crazy? We are mistaken <laughs> for each other all the all time. All the time. But I tell people that you're from the far south, and you talk real funny. And I say you're a little bit shorter, and you talk funny. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just so wonderful to have you on the show, because we said a while back, we've got to be on the same show, so it's people It's great realize. to be here. And we do travel in the same circles, and we have supper together and have good times together. So Absolutely. Yeah. But your specialty is... It's wild and wonderful. I mean, and I love it. play with threads. Yes, yes. And you've done bags for many, many years, like the handbags. And They're a wonderful palette to play on. It's small. Yes, yes. can be very creative yes, on a handbag. Yeah. And I like when you say play, because that's what this whole thing is about. That's is what we're doing. We don't have to do this. No, no, no. It's, we're we're doing, doing it for fun. Yes, exactly, exactly. You brought along some clothes. Yes. Let's have a look at the models. Okay, okay. sounds great. Okay, let's see. Oh, this looks like Mardi Gras. And you it must is be. Mardi Gras. This yeah. is on the way to the Mardi Gras. It was a garment that was designed for a style show in Houston. Okay. And there's lots of thread work on here. We have a little bit of pin tucking. So this whole thing is... Pin tucked with a double needle. Yes. And the feather stitch on your machine. These are corded pin tucks. Like, might you uh, say how many spools of thread, perhaps? The or? whole garment has 87 spools of thread. Oh, the thread companies like you. Yes, <laughs> yes they do. Yes, They're yes. all my friends. Yes, I guess. And this, then, is... Uh, this is a sliver-type thread that uh, is used also with a double needle. The fabric on the base is woven. Okay. And there's more thread work as you go around well, the garment. As you look at this, I'm seeing this is all separate more pieces More thread work. Of this fabric. is couching. Okay. The other thread was in the needle. This is in a foot. But you wouldn't want to couch on just a plain piece of fabric. You've got to... Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, well, because, uh, but you pieced all this together, This too. is all pieced. Yeah, yeah. So, Lots of corded piping. Yeah. Uh, there's more thread wreck as you go around. There's actually some yarns that have been couched, too. Okay. So we lay them down and stitched over them to hold them in place. And you didn't get them all... Quite. So this is this is the good news is that they're well. The, yeah. That's the way the yarn was to begin sure. with. Oh, it lovely. was real fluffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then down the pants, you did as well. Oh, Lots of thread on the side of the pants. Perfect. Look, you've done the bag to match. I think that's just have a bag to match every outfit. Yes, of course, of course. You're a woman. I mean, we maybe we were just separate at birth. Could that be it? That's probably maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. That is. Okay. Thank you. Let's see some more. So here we go. What are we showing? What are we seeing next? Uh, a garment that was just made for fun, using some of the piecing techniques. These are all pieces that are stripped together and then couched on top of them. Okay, so the thread uh, work, which you're going to show us All the thread today. work yeah. I'm going to show you how to do. Yeah. There's a little bit of embroidery. I like my flowers. The matching uh, bag. Matching bag. Got to yeah. have a bag to match the outfit. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, that looks great. Okay. Lots of gorgeous We don't have threads. a lot of time, so we're going to just keep coming, guys. Just keep coming. I use a lot of vest because I'm from the South. We don't need a lot of sleeves. Exactly. So and they're a nice palette to show off a lot of different thread work. This mm -hmm. is actually my husband's Mardi Gras vest. I love I added that. Your husband wears for the show. This? Yes, he wears it in oh. Mardi Gras. Good. The purple, gold, and green in the Mardi Gras colors. Lots sure. of glitter. You can't get too gaudy for Mardi Gras. Exactly, exactly. But you don't give him the flowers. So that's he doesn't do the flower and yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but he doesn't look different because everybody's wearing this. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. I mean, you're right into this. This goes with the tux. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Okay. And that still goes with the pads. Okay, do we have one more? Yes, we do. And this one was started off with a white fabric. So on the inside, plain we white see fabric. a plain white fabric. The fabric was dyed and then gathered, 
the interfacings on the back to hold these little gathers in the wrinkles. Okay. And also it's a thread work on top. Okay. So you can see lots and lots of thread work. Okay. So the fabric changed from white to this. Wonderful. Let's get, let's get at it. So what can you show me in about five minutes or less? <laughs> ah, lots of things. Okay. Uh, I like a wrinkled base, and I've wrinkled the fabric up and placed interfacing on the back side to hold the wrinkles in place. So you just iron it, wrinkled. Iron a fusible interfacing to hold how, the wrinkles. How tough could that be? Ironing and make it wrinkled. I like that. We okay. used to want it flat. Now we want it wrinkled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Texture. The name of your book, Texture with Textiles. Creating Perfect. Texture with Textiles. Yeah, yeah. Now, the thread work that you see on top is actually a heavier thread. Mm -hmm. The thread is too heavy to go in the needle. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is couch it in place. So, but I like the fact little... that you've used four of them. I mean, this is... Yes, yeah, you need to yeah. use combinations. Yeah, I could yeah. use one thread if I want to. But notice that limey green that I tucked in. Yes. Yeah. That gives us a little bit more vibrance to the piece. I could put those threads together and they look very nice. Uh -huh. But look how the lime when green makes the other colors pop. Sure does. It sure does. Yeah. And I can put six or eight or ten threads uh, underneath the foot at a time. And I use the help of a foot that's called a braiding or couching foot. This is wonderful because you that... Can, that big hole, anything feeds. that you can get in the big hole, you can couch yeah, down. Yeah. And then you don't have to really look at what you're doing. You can just... You meander it. all over the place. Yeah, in my yeah. past life, I sewed straight. In my new life, I enjoy sewing crooked. And Good. it's a lot of fun. Yes. yes and yes. you don't have to have any discipline to your stitching. Mm -hmm. Stitch anywhere you would like. But you you know, this thread is in the foot. We have to have something in the needle to yes, hold it in true. place. Yep, yep. And I adore some of these variegated threads, sure. the ones that change colors. As and they add a little bit of pizzazz, and they don't make a major showing on your stitching. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's a great idea. In this instance. Yes. Now, the blue handbag that's right there. Okay, so that We use is the same type of thread and a decorative stitch on the machine that went Good off idea. the edge yeah. so it shows and gives Good a little idea. bit more texture. This is fascinating, too. Can we look at that one? Because the foot is called a multi-hole foot. Okay, and we can and see that. And there are seven holes in the foot. We're using the outer two. So you could put something in all of those holes. You could yeah. put something in all of them. You can put something in just one or yeah. five yeah. or three, whatever makes you happy. Yes. But we have a thread on the outside edge, mm -hmm. a heavier thread, yeah. a decorative thread in the needle. Again, some variegated. of the variegated. Sure, sure. This is one of your simple stitches. You sure. can become sure. more elaborate if you'd like to. But the stitch has to go on the outside of the heavy thread. Yes, yes. I just want to see some examples of what, what where you've it's, used. This is organza with some of the decorative threads on top to create our little fish and bag. And you stuck some stuff in behind that organza. Go to the you? party store or yeah. clean your sewing machine floor and all those it's decorative threads, the tidbits, in behind there. That's can go in that. between. Yeah. Yes. And I love the fact that this is actually a bag. A it's a real handbag, yes. Here it is. You carry that on a day when you want attention. Yes, for sure. People would notice this, but you don't fade into the woodwork with that one. So let me see another another couple of bags before we... This one has a combination of the twisted threads. There's also a ribbon going through. Oh, the same this one's got this one uh, that you were talking foot about. Foot and a ribbon floss. Okay. This is a bias woven ribbon. Okay. So if you would pull a thread, so we're going to spread the ends and just pull a thread. Doesn't matter which one? It doesn't matter which one because they don't unravel, they gather. Oh, isn't that so nice. Use your open toe foot, the same one you use with applique, sure. and stitch this down. Oh, yes. What yeah. I like to do is tie a knot at this point, and then you work with the gathers towards the loose end. You're not allowed to trim the loose end off until you've stitched the rest of it. Sure, sure. Otherwise, you'll lose yeah, yeah, your gathers. Yeah, yeah. Did you find that by accident or that just happened? Who knows? It kind of... Everything's... There's no yeah. accidents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every... Or maybe everything is. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true. That's true. Well, you learn the rules and then you start playing with things. Exactly. And when you play with things, you become creative. Yes. So that, learn the basics and then play. That is why I continue to love to sew and we've done it for years and years and years. We're not sewing because we have to. No, We're doing no. it because we want to be creative. Yes, and make something different. I mean, nobody has one of these garments and that's that's the fantastic That's part. the fun part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, Linda, I would say we're out of time. Uh, I'd love to have you for the whole team, but you're going to come back and the next show we're going to have you on as well. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit more yeah. about some other creative yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Lynn. Okay. It's been great to be here. <laughs> and we're not the same person. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Linda did some wonderful things with Thread, but my next guest also works with Thread. And welcome, Kelly. Kelly, you, you yes, you've been. Your specialty really is is home deck, isn't it? I love home deck. Um, I love sewing, but I really, really enjoy home deck. I sew okay. garments, but uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm wearing probably, the garment. This so, is it, so. and sure. home deck fabrics can be used to sew garments sure, as well. Sure, sure. I think I'm it was interesting doing. that you said that now that you're working for the my company. my dream job. Now yeah. that I'm working for a sewing company, I have no time to sew for myself. <laughs> And exactly. when I got the invite to your show, I thought, what Roman blind would I wear? What would, which one would be appropriate? <laughs> <laughs> the Roman blind, right. But you did. You did. You said you had a little time. Yeah, so I had a little time. Your, your so I, this is you... one of our Husqvarna designs, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. I so you did embroidered that. my, my, sure, my, my sure. jacket. Okay, but, but there, there will be time eventually to, yes. to... But I think the whole thing ties together so well. You can do jackets, or you can do the pillows. Tell me sort of about what you've got here. Okay, I've got a, a little collection here that actually um, highlights one of the our new feet that we have, which is the Spanish hem stitch foot, which I'll demonstrate for okay. you later. Okay, and, and what does that Spanish hem stitch look like? It looks like, actually, it's on the machine. Okay, but, but what, what does the stitch the itself stitch look like? The stitch looks like this. So it's actually a bridging, if you can see through okay. there. Okay. So you can join it, two edges together. Mm -hmm. And you can use various threads. Here I've used a 30 weight thread, so it has a heavier sort of a, a handmade mm -hmm. sort of look mm -hmm. to it. So Here, you could make a whole bunch of these things and join them all together that And way. that's what I did with this cushion. And actually, the funny thing about this little cushion, it started out to be a handbag. Because oh, you notice the yes. colors well, for holiday. Handbags here today, well, this so, is it. Yeah. Linda had yeah, her handbag. Yeah. So this was going to be a little handbag. Yeah. And then when I heard I was coming here, I thought, you know what? No, it's a pillow. And I've got a little zipper in here. And I always say, if you're going to take the time to make a hand-done pillow, okay. you want to be able to look after what's on the outside. Sure. So you want to be able to, to take it. out your insert. Was, so and, of this, course, my thinking would be, if you've got this, then you can make a whole bunch of different colors. Well, this is it, and then you can on. change. So yeah. for the seasons, this is very winterish, fallish. Yeah. Yeah. You can change the cover for that for the summer. Sure, sure. Now, make it into a handbag by putting a handbag. I'm putting into it, yeah, put some bullion on there, yeah. and you've got a handbag. Sure. Here again, we see the Spanish hem stitch. Uh -huh. And what I've done is these were thirger tubes, okay. and I just pressed them flat and joined them all together with the Spanish hem stitch foot. Good idea. This is a... Uh, a 12 weight thread in the gold uh -huh. and this actually here is interesting because that is the same stitch on the machine as this is that's what the foot does with it causes it oh, to make okay. these bridging so, stitches yes, this foot is obviously what we need and then. i use the foot again here and you can see to highlight yeah, the, the, yeah. the joining yeah. on the edges. I okay. also programmed in, did a little bit of embroidery. Sure. Did the sure. embroidery on the pieces yeah. just to tie it all and then you've together. Got some piping, because we were talking piping. Yeah, and we've got some piping on the ends. And we have two feet that we can use to put on piping, either narrow piping or the heavier piping, in which case oh, would that's be welting. That's really clever, because with this whole, I mean, I'm not saying the home deck thing, but I mean, people are just having wonderful times in their homes. And I think this is a great way for people to learn to sew. Is, Plus, is also, you how difficult can a pillow be? It's a square. Well, this way, they don't have to be as fancy as this no, one. True. This one I got a little carried away with. Mm -hmm. um, I've got uh, a stippled embroidery design in the center. I've used the piping foot okay. to put on here. You can see this is a twisted cord yeah. with some sparkle in it, yeah. some decorative taffeta. I've got some decorative stitches on the sure, side. Sure. I've used beautiful fringe. And yes. on the back, now here's where I've used garment. Yes, fabric. Sure. This is cashew lining. Sure, sure. I love cashew our lining. Yeah, our favorite. And I've used a button closure yeah, once again yeah. so that we can take yeah, the, yeah. the filling out yeah, of this yeah. guy. And basically, to go from this to a duvet, this is just a little Th duvet. That's right, so, I mean, exactly. The whole exactly. This will all exist. So. The other thing that I like to do with home deck is if you're going to use tassels, okay. along the same line as being able to take your cushion cover off, yeah, yeah. I always attach my tassels with a button. Oh, because no, then what idea. you can do is, when you, you just have to go to the dry around. cleaners, yep. we just pop that off. Okay. And now that can go to the dry cleaners or can be that washed. That is good. Yes, that is good. And you don't have to worry about ruining the tassel. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, let's go to the machine. I, you've got me excited. Let's okay. do this. Okay. Let's, I'm going to show you the Spanish hemp stitch foot. And we've got the machine loaded with, this is 12 weight cotton, okay. which is a heavier, it's a lovely, lovely thread to use. It's very silky. That's the one that you see featured on the cushion. Okay. Now what I did was, I took two squares, I wanted the cash lining and one of the green, yeah. and so I sewed right around together. it and pressed it, yep. and then I did some top stitching, okay. just about a quarter just of an inch around, yes. Okay. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to join the two edges together. Now, if you have a look, this Spanish hemstitch foot is really neat. There's a little wire in here that keeps some pressure on the foot. Okay. And we've changed the stitch plate. If you can see here, there's a little... Yeah, there's a little plastic, groove there that wasn't there. There's a there. plastic yeah. guide there. And the fabric comes up and oh, rides along each, each side, side of that. So it keeps the space for the stitches. Perfect. Now, okay. the other thing, if you notice that little groove in the center, yes. we could take some decorative thread like oh, some of what Linda had, kind of thing, yes. and we can feed that through. And if you yep, want, yep, I've that. got a sample there, and you can show that there's some uh, green thread coming up through. And if you can see, so you can get some really decorative oh, yes. effects. Yeah, yeah. You can see that we've been feeding it through. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, you can have thicker too if you want. Yes, yeah, you could yeah. use some of that floss. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything that will fit in you through that do. guide, you can put through. Yeah, sure. Okay. So what we're going to do is get it started. Okay. Now hold that back. And you can use any of the various stitches that are at least the six millimeter wide because you need that zigzagging okay. motion. So what I would do is I'm going to come over to the machine and I'm going to select my E menu. Okay. And a good stitch I found, the one that we used in the cushion, we'll use that, is 15. Okay, but there's and, a lot of ones, as you say. Yeah. You can play around, and this is what you should do with this is play around. And then we just, you don't have to work. You just guide... Just hold it together. Just hold it together this and guide it This is so different from any sewing that you would normally have done. So, yeah. I like and it with that little guide. There it is. Isn't that great? There's a lot of fun things that you can do with this. And not just necessarily for home tech. Yes. I yes, I can see. Now, a little skin showing behind there. That's yeah. got some possibilities. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to set the machine up. Well, we'll I want to see this cording thing. That, that's, so now what we do is we, we take out the plate. Okay. And there you can because have a Because that is look. the special that's plate. The special, that you, that, yeah, it comes together with the foot, with the foot. and the plate. Okay. You, can't, you need them both. Yes, I can see that. So yeah. now what we're going to do is we're going to put back in our regular plate. And they just click, click. And they, they just snap in, which is so easy sure. to do. And now we put back our thread cover. Okay. Now this is our welting foot, our single welting foot. And you can see that there is a groove, quite a big groove oh, on it, the other yeah, side. Is, yeah. And that will ride along top. Now this, you can either use store-bought okay. welting or, or you make. can make your own. Now sure. I made this out of bias strip. Okay. And just some cotton filler. Okay, yeah. So this groove would then sit on yeah, top of that? Exactly. It just rides along and holds it. And then this will keep the needle in position so that it comes up and stitches right close to the okay. cotton cording. It's what people would have been using their zipper foot for. That's right. Previous to this. Exactly. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, once again, I'm gonna, this is the nice thing with this machine because the feet just pop in and off so easy. And the joy is you can change yeah. your mind. If you want to yeah. go zipper foot, fine. If you want to do this, fine. So what you're going to do, if you had a big long section or your fabric's for slippery, you might pin them. I'm not okay. going to pin them today because sure. Uh, sure. It's just, you're going to line up the edge of your, your welting with the edge of what you're applying sure. it to, and yep. you're going to raise the presser foot up because we can raise our presser foot higher. We're going yep. to ride it along, yep. and now we're going to lower it. Okay. And if we need to adjust the width, and then we're just... It's a straight stitch. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to be doing that decorative no, stitch. Don't. Yes, we don't. Yes, yeah. Okay, so let's put on a straight stitch. Straight stitch. Okay. And away we go. And you see how it just guides it along, and now the needle is dropping just oh, in right. one side. It just sits right there where now you want. Now we can cut with our machine, which is also great because it cuts both the top and bottom threads. Mm -hmm. Now, we wouldn't use that heavy black thread, but there you can see that you've yeah. got your, your cording, your welting, set to nicely go. set yeah. to go. And then you would put your other piece there and You use could that sew same. both together, actually. You could have it so that you could take two edges okay, and yes, put them together yes, yeah. and put them through the machine at one sure, time. Sure, sure. Kelly, this has been great. We definitely have to have you back to I'd do love some more. To come because back, I love to know so how much. this thing works. We gotta go. We're out of time, so join us again next time. Bye. To receive the companion book for this series, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call 1-888-McPhee.